So I'm going to start then with rockets and obviously it's something that everybody's familiar with but maybe they're not too familiar with the actual reason we call them rockets and the truth of the matter is we don't know. But that's the sort of thing, we think it's an Italian expression primarily, but that is the sort of thing that you're going to buy in the shops. And what really is happening is that the whole of the inside of this tube here is hollow because all the composite, the powder has all been pressed around a spindle which is withdrawn and that means that the whole of that tube is immediately lit and there's so much gas coming out of here that it pushes the rocket up into the air. If you go then a bit bigger to the sort of things that we use at Kim Bolton in our firework displays, you're coming to something more like this. And this is a different kind of rocket, more like the sort of things you find in the military where here you've got a compressed gunpowder charge with only a very small hole in the bottom. So this is neat gunpowder. These do not look as good when they're going in the air as these which have a very nice golden tail. But on the other hand these are very efficient in the way that they're made and they don't go wrong very easily. And of course we sell them in a, in a plastic tube in order to fire them easily in your garden. The biggest rockets that were made until about 19, I would think, 50, 60, would be a rocket like this. And you could actually buy them. I remember the price as a schoolboy was five shillings, which was a lot of money uh, in those days. But you can see that's a very big rocket. And this big swelled head was primarily for carrying a parachute or some other object that was quite large which was going to do something high in the air. This is a dummy and we made it up really for the Christmas tree festival in the parish church but that's exactly what it looked like and the same stuff. But I also ought to remind or to tell you that here's uh, another rocket and this is live as it happens and this is a ship's distress rocket. Because what happened, uh, or was very common in past times, when it was necessary to get a, 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 a cable or a rope over a ship in distress, uh, you had to fire these sort of rockets. And so this here was connected to a uh, specially, uh, well, I don't know how to describe it, Imagine that you are firing a rocket at great speed and it's got to unravel a rope, a thin rope that's coming out of a contraption. Imagine the, what the contrivance is like to stop it getting all mucked up as it's coming out. And so the contraption they used to make in order to dispense the thin cord that goes first and then leads to the thick cord is really complex. The new ones that I've seen in recent times are a lot more efficient of course but uh, you can see how they were made in the old days. So the rocket motor, it's all rocket motor, that's a very big rocket motor, and that would make a lot of sparks and a lot of noise. So enough said about rockets.